Okay team, now we're going to learn about the different types of helper T cells and how they lead to different immune responses. There are actually like nine or ten different types of helper T cells and they all um, elicit different kinds of immune responses, but for the purposes of this class, we're only going to focus on two types of helper T cells. And so we're going to focus on helper T cell type 1 and helper T cell type 2. And so we label those as Th1 and Th2. So bigger picture is to remember that uh, helper T cells type, type 1 or Th1 leads to the activation of our killer T cells or our cytotoxic lymphocytes, CTLs. And CTLs are there to kill infected cells. And remember that CTLs don't kill pathogens. They don't destroy viruses or bacteria directly, but they can search out and find cells that are infected with those pathogens and cause those cells to self-destruct, aka apoptosis. Our helper T cells type 2 elicit a very different kind of immune response. So those guys are in charge of initiating and activating the B cells and getting them to, dis to differentiate or specialize into plasma cells, which are antibody factories, or um, memory B cells, which will be able to be rapidly activated if you see that same infection, that same pathogen, a second, uh, third, fourth, et cetera time. So and remember, the purpose of antibody is to mark and destroy pathogens. So, so cells like macrophages can come along and directly destroy the pathogen. So remember, that's the big difference between killer T cells and antibodies. Killer T cells kill infected cells. Antibodies, which are made by B cells, antibodies are not cells at all. They're small proteins that can attack that can attach to particular antigens on the pathogen and uh, mark them for destruction. If you haven't watched the antigen uh, videos, the earlier episodes, please do so because this will make a lot more sense if you already understand what the antigen is. Okay, so let's focus first on what happens we have the Th1 response. And so the bigger picture is that it's uh, checks and balances, lots of steps to activate killer T cells. And remember, you want to have a lot of steps before you activate a killer T cell to kill a new kind of infection because you don't want these CTLs, killer T cells, to just go around killing cells at random, but you want it to be very um, particular. So if you remember from the previous episode, we learned that helper T cells do not directly activate other immune cells. They activate other immune cells by releasing cytokines. So in the case of helper T cells type 1, they release cytokines that help killer T cells divide, specialize, and get activated to go kill their target infected cells. So right here, I've shown IL-2 which is an example of a cytokine that activates these killer T cells. And so IL-2, again, that's a protein, a signal that's released by the Th1, so made and released by Th1. And the IL-2 travels and it goes find its very specific IL-2 receptor, which is what I've drawn right here, uh, if you can read my handwriting. So on the surface of the killer T cell, is this cytokine receptor that's specific for IL-2. So when this cytokine binds to the killer T cell, the cytotoxic lymphocyte, that is what activates the killer T cell. Oops, so notice that the helper T cell does not directly bind to the CTL. It's this indirect action of releasing cytokines and it's the cytokine themselves that activates the CTL. So in the next episode, we'll show you exactly what happens um, when the CTL is activated and it goes to find its infected cell. And remember, this CTL is specific 
for antigen number one, the first antigen that activated um, or that was on the PAMP that activated the macrophage in the first place. Okay, so TH2, getting back to the antibody response. So very similar thing happens is that the helper T cell type 2 does not directly activate B cells. It actually releases cytokines, and these are different cytokines, cytokines that are going to activate our B cells. So these cytokines are called IL-4 and IL-10. So again, remember, there are hundreds of different cytokines, and it's really the combination of cytokines that are released from the T cells that shapes what kind of immune response is going to happen. So release of the cytokines, we have our B cell here. The B cell also has a cytokine receptor on it. This time, we have the cytokine receptor for IL-4, so the IL-4 specific receptor. So we can see here that our signal, IL-4, binds to the B cell, and it's this binding of the, C of the cytokine to the B cell that activates the B cell. And then what we have after that is that the B cell is going to make our antibody number one, which is specific for antigen number one. So remember, this antibody cannot bind to just any antigen, but it's the same antigen that started this whole process. And these cytokines also tell the B cell to specialize. So they specialize into our plasma cells, which are the antibody one factories, and also memory B cells. All right, in the next episode, we're gonna put these all together. We'll start with the Th1 response, and then our last video will be on the Th2 response.